Hi everyone, welcome back to the Recovery Channel. Today I want to articulate how I got better, um, what method I used to get better from a major fatal stroke at 27 years of age. Um, so a third of my brain is missing, about the size of a baseball, a neurologist told me. Because I said, is it like a tennis ball, a golf ball, an orange? She said it was a baseball. There is a baseball bit of brain tissue missing from my frontal lobe and my uh, from my frontal lobe and my medial and parietal lobe I have brain tissue missing so I want to articulate exactly how I got better and what method I used. So the method of constraint induced therapy really helps um, that was brought about by this book I've done a I've done a book review on this one if you haven't seen that make sure you watch it if you've had a stroke or you know somebody that's had a stroke give them a copy of this book please please give them a copy this articulates how you get better from stroke. Now he uses constraint induced therapy, which means they physically tie your good hand behind your back. So you have to use your left hand. Now I'm a bit of the opposite. I prefer to call it voluntary constraint therapy because I believe that your neurons will fire twice or three times as harder and quicker if you do something voluntary and you want to do it, you want to get better, you do it voluntary. So constraint induced therapy works to a point, but voluntary constraint therapy is what I use. It's what I'm calling it. And um, that's how I got better after a fatal stroke at 27. Uh, yeah, so, so I'm calling it voluntary constraint therapy. Uh, you've seen my videos, you know that I drive an old car on purpose, it's really hard to drive. Um, I have to use my left hand, my left leg, I do about 1500 gear changes a day, um, which is therapy in itself. Just using my left hand and my left leg to change gears in a car with no power steering and a clutch. Um, I defy you to find a better therapy than that for your left arm and your left leg. So as I mentioned, I always put myself in the position where, I'm, where it's hard. It's hard to drive a car, it's hard to do something. Um, hard books to read, very chewy book, this one, very chewy. It's not, it's not a light read for a Sunday afternoon. It's a, I read medical textbooks for fun. Um, neurological textbooks I read for fun. That's what, I, that's what makes me happy, reading, learning about brains and learning about how to help people better and how, I can, how my channel can expand more to help more people um, and cover all sorts of addiction issues, cancer issues, anything recovery related, I wanna, I wanna cover. I'll repeat it again, so I got better from a fatal, fatal meaning the area of brain that was, that has died, I should have died. Um, the neurologist said she's never seen somebody live with such a large stroke and she's certainly seen nobody ever recover from a fatal stroke. So she called it a fatal stroke. Uh, this neurologist, she had 40 years experience in stroke. She had never seen a carotid dissection stroke come in. So my carotid artery dissector while I was training for a marathon and caused a stroke. This neurologist of 40 years practice had never seen a carotid dissection and she said she learned about it in medical uh, university, but she said she never thought she'd come across it. And she said carotid dissections are fatal. And she said she's not sure how I survived. Um, but more to the point, how I've got better is voluntary constraint therapy. Put yourself in a position where it's hard to do everything and you will grow, you will get better. Read hard books, drive hard cars. Um, I'm doing a degree in counseling, which is very difficult because it's a lot of reading. It's just reading page after page, answering thousands of endless questions to get this degree in counselling so I can start as a counsellor. Um, but yeah, I put myself in these positions on purpose because I grow and I get a lot better. I grow and I get a lot better from it. So voluntary constraint therapy is how you get better from the stroke. Um, I defy you to find another way of getting better. If you find another way of getting better, let me know, by the way. Thanks guys. So I'm on holiday and that was video 15 for today. I think I did 15 yesterday. My seven year old said, set me a challenge of doing 15 videos per day um, on holiday, which is quite ambitious considering I have to read a lot of material to be able to do the videos. 
after read an incredible amount of material, medical textbooks, neurological textbooks, psychology textbooks, counseling textbooks, I have to read a lot to be able to know what I'm talking about. Um, especially when I get specific emails from people concerned about their husband's had a stroke and he's... I, I'll let you in on one email. I got an email saying my husband had a stroke four years ago, frontal lobe. Uh, he's still excessively masturbating every day to the point where it's become a problem. What should I do? So these are the kind of questions that I answer. I, I video call, I video called that lady and I talked her through it and I really helped her. And I hope I really helped her husband too. But these, don't laugh at that. That's a really common problem post-stroke. Um, I didn't suffer from that. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was a different part of the brain. I didn't suffer from excessive masturbation or excessive um, anything. I had anxiety, depression, you know, the works, but not anything like that. But people don't laugh because people have all sorts of problems after a stroke. You have no idea what happens when your brain dies. You have no idea. The inadequacies that come upon you, um, you won't be ready for them and you need help. So keep watching my videos, keep getting better and aim for 100% recovery like I am. I'm aiming for 120% recovery. I don't, I don't care. They told me it was a fatal stroke at rehab and she wrote me off. She goes, we have to get, she goes, you've had a fatal stroke from a carotid dissection. Um, we have to give you four weeks of therapy to like see how you go. And I just, I was like a bull in a china shop. I did therapy like you would not believe. If she said do uh, one weight of lifting the weight of my own arm, I'd do 100. I would do it until I fell asleep and then I'd wake up and I'd keep doing it more, okay? So I push therapy to the absolute limit. I really, really push therapy. I walk every day, five, 10 kilometers every day, just to keep my stroke affected leg um, working correctly. I walk uphill and downhill. I walk, you see my videos, my stories. I do dodgy little goat tracks and you know, hard hills to climb with a dog and uh, um, I do it on purpose because it's hard and that's how you get better, honestly. Put yourself in a position where you have to do something really hard, like drive a car that was made in 1975, 20 years before I was born, and um, you will get better, honestly. I, and I defy you to find a better way of getting better from a major stroke. So that wraps up this video, guys. So I'm calling it Voluntary Constraint Therapy, it's very important. Um, I believe myself that that's how I've gotten better, my attitude and my my attitude towards voluntary constraint therapy and the, just the knowledge of reading medical textbooks and knowing how your brain works and knowing, more importantly, knowing how it doesn't work and how to fix inadequacies. Because when you have a stroke, there will be inadequacies that you would not even dream of. You would not believe the things that people have to relearn. You would not believe the things that I had to relearn. Um, I'll give you an example. Talking to a female, okay? Um, and trying not to be inhibit, uninhibited. Talking to a female in public is different. Dating a female is different. The things that I've had to learn, you have no idea. And I deliberately put myself in a position where I have to push myself and have to go harder and harder and harder and learn more. So that's why I read book after book. That's why I answer every email that I can, as quick as I can. And I believe that voluntary constraint therapy is the way to get better from a stroke. So thanks guys.